Hey, this is Sean McCracken, your OC Realtor, bringing you the California dream of eco, sun, and fun. I'm here with Dave Parker right here, who's a well-known architect in Laguna Beach. And this is part of our continuing series where we're looking at uh, different architecture and what you can do with different houses as you buy here, here in Laguna Beach. We are down in the village area on Anita Street, which is by Oak and Brooks and so forth. And what we're going to be doing is comparing two houses, this house here and this house here, which is a nice, you know, cottage. And David, why don't you give us an overview of what we're, what we're trying to accomplish. Here are two cottages, one where the person just did some interior uh, rehabbing and another where they went uh, the other extreme and did a complete uh, upper floor addition and a complete facelift on the house. Great. So let's go in and take a look at uh, this house first and uh, where we, they kept the you know, integrity of the house, but just, you know, really upgraded it. And you'll see it's just, it's just a gorgeous house. Okay, okay. David, why don't, uh, why don't you give us a little tour of this house, of the nice cottage. Here. All right, and I'll just uh, comment about what I see here, like this Dutch door, which is nice. It's got a really nice black color. And the wood, the wood floor is a really rich, dark stain. And I understand that it was carpeted when they bought the house, and they removed the carpet and revealed this wonderful soft wood floor and stained it and uh, this board here is a very common thing in Laguna it's in fact it's called Laguna board and this is single wall construction it's just the thickness of the board here and that was very common for cottages uh, at this in the, during this era one thing I love is how the roofs change direction if you look over there where the eating area is the roof suddenly goes in the other direction comes down and that adds a lot of interest and character to the house so let's go over to the kitchen area. I'd like to point out too that the the way they situated this house so they got a nice view of the ocean from from the uh, living area. This is a miniature kitchen nook area, almost like a dollhouse, and uh, but everything everything that you need is here. A little tiny refrigerator, microwave, a uh, little miniature stove, and uh, I like these little portholes in here, and uh, the corner window and the tile, the butcher block cabinet is really beautiful, and this is a door here, but it's also a window that opens up, which is uh, uh, really clever. And again, the roof's change again. There's a hip that comes down here, and the rafters are doing something differently, and it's all exposed. They just sort of let it all happen, so it works out naturally and almost organically. And all these little nooks and crannies here, there's always these little shelf spaces all Yeah, come in here, I just noticed something. Look at these little, little, oh, uh, yeah. frogs. Little openings Insects, right there. Yeah. yeah. Should we see what's inside? <laughs> yeah. Bowls. Yep, bowls. So they, they need, when you, uh, buy a cottage like this, you want to use all these little nooks and crannies as a story or something. You have to be kind of inventive. Like, like another one here is using the old, where the, the uh, old uh, ironing board used to be, she uses this as a spice rack. Pretty cool. And mm -hmm. then you got to always, always have these little drawers all around. And uh, shelves. shelves. And, places. and look at the, even these little scallops up above. So there's just tons of, of character in this house. Let's take a look at the bedrooms. Well, this is really interesting. Uh, this is a really interesting bedroom for a house like this. Because of the shape, it's not a square. It's a little larger than you usually find in cottages. And again, the roof comes down here over the bed. It changes direction a little bit and adds some interest. And all the rafters are exposed. And the texture is interesting, too. Look at that. It's, it looks like it's... Uh, Looks like it's been redone, but it's it looks very very original because of the thick texture, layers and layers of paint over plaster, uh, give it a lot of a lot of depth. Cool. And a lot of these cottages are about 700 to 900 square feet. We think this is probably at the higher end because that room right there is pretty good size, and they usually have two bedrooms and and one bath, as we see here. That's right. And uh, they remodeled the bath and did a really nice job. And there's that, that uh, door with the window in it that opens up. Yeah. 
Everything in here is very light, and I think it gives a lot of uh, cheerfulness to, to the house and creates a, a nice, pleasant, serene atmosphere. And this is a typical small bedroom that you see. It's maybe only 8 feet wide, maybe 8 feet by 9 feet, with a little bed, and that's all everybody cared about or needed back then. Yeah. Look up here, there's some more, uh, some more of these secret doors that you see all around for just a little extra mm -hmm. storage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just amazing how little space they needed. And they probably only stayed here three months during the summer. Sure. And, uh, but they, you know, they, they had either tiny people or they crunched up a lot. <laughs> There's a miniature aspect to these homes that yeah. I like a lot. Well, very good. It's the opposite of grand. It's intimate. Yes. So there was a, uh, a, a, a if you were to buy a cottage... This is an opportunity that you have to keep the original character of the house and, uh, and just fix right. it up. Just enhance it, um, capitalize on the charm of it all, and uh, not make it into something that it shouldn't be, but um, exaggerate what it already is and make something really beautiful. Great, David. So let's go look at the, what you can do with the cottage, and then you just use the skeleton of the, uh, of the house or the envelope of the house, and you just totally remodel it. Uh, so David, let's um, now look at another house, uh, which is right next to the cottage we just looked at. So we just looked at, and now here's the other one, which uh, it's different because they completely redid it. Uh, they added a second floor, they gave it a completely new exterior look uh, and style with the cedar shingles. And they did this about 15 or 20 years ago, I think. They added an upper floor and uh, made it look like a Cape Cod, New England style. And uh, uh, I think it comes off really well. It's very, very charming and very beautiful. So let's go inside. Okay. You know, I, I love the aged look of these cedar shingles. And you don't see it very often anymore because everyone's so concerned about fire. And uh, we use a lot of non-combustible materials that look good, but nothing really quite compares to this wood. There's so much depth to it, and, and uh, when it really starts to age, you can see all the, the richness of color. Every shingle is a little bit different from the others, mm -hmm. white ones and dark ones, and, and uh, different uh, stains that uh, it acquires over time mm -hmm. and patina. So it's something that you don't see very often. It's really nice. And look at this color. It's sort of a, sort of a deep burgundy magenta color, which is... Clever on the part of the owner to go with the color like that. Before we leave the brown shingles, you know what's interesting is down in um, down in South Laguna. That's what they all the new buildings are going up have that. That's kind of the motif of South Laguna. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cafe Vienna, you know, yeah. all those types of places, and that they are they're adopting that as their theme, you know, throughout the, mm -hmm. the places down. There. In this case, the family needed more space, so they expanded the room and made, uh, if you will, a, a small great room. It has a living room here, uh, which is perfectly functional, and uh, they've got a kitchen with an island here that's small but again functional. And uh, I love these square windows that stair step. It's a little bit of a contemporary touch, and uh, but it still works with the style. And then uh, this round porthole window that's a theme in this particular architectural style. And I like the way that this fireplace comes out like this and then comes to a point here. And uh, it works really well in this, uh, in this small space. It doesn't feel small. It feels very spacious. We're going to take a look at the master bathroom here. And they've really upgraded this and made it very contemporary, but it's still charming and it fits in well. They've used a wet room here. And uh, they've got a nice uh, lab with a couple sinks. And I love this round porthole window and how it's carved into the roof slope like that. And you can see the ocean through there. So let's take a look at the master bedroom. Okay, this is the master bedroom. And I love these exposed trusses up in the ceiling. I love how they reveal the bolts. And uh, it's cool because you can see a little bit about how the house was constructed that's revealed here. There's a little secret about the construction, which is why I like that so much. And... There's a nice deck out here, just a small deck, just big enough for a couple chairs and a table. And uh, great ocean view out there. The uh, vaults in the circle windows up there, which uh, look nice as they're carved into the sloping roof. And uh, it's very, very fun. So I hope you enjoyed that.
uh, how we took two different cottages and how you one you can keep the integrity of the house and just fix it up or in the other case you take the cottage you use the envelope of the house and go through a major remodel that's what makes uh, Laguna so eclectic if you want more information uh, you can contact me Sean McCracken at 949-290-5317 or you can go to my website welcome to the dream.com or you can contact me in my email Sean at welcome to dream.com or subscribe down below that little yellow button there I do tons of video and how about you David how can they contact you my number is 949-872-6616 and I'm a local Laguna Beach architect I have a website it's www.dmparchitect.com and I also have a YouTube channel it's uh, it's youtube.com slash DMP Architect. I've got some videos of my projects here in Laguna as well. Very good. Well, that was really a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoyed that as well. And keep tuned. We're going to keep showing you some other different types of architecture throughout Laguna, Laguna Beach, and there's tons of them out there. Okay.